Okay, thank you very much. So, uh, Mr. Chairperson, uh, Mr. Desai, and so uh, it's very honor for me to be invited here this uh, wonderful meeting, uh, Asian Security Conference. This is my maybe third visit to, to India, but the, the first and the second was very, very long time ago, 20, more than 20 years ago. There is no internet at the time. Uh, uh, when I was uh, when visits in India in the first time, so uh, I was came I came here as a so not as so the government official, but as so the uh, one Japanese businessman for connecting Japan and so India. Sometimes we used uh, not no internet, just as so telex. It's very very old age. It's a very uh, so is how much change uh, from such time to the present. Here, uh, I, and so I am so now a director of so policy study department. So my self introduction is a little bit so old. Maybe uh, I I'm, I didn't give my so uh, bio to this IDSA. Maybe IDSA staff search on internet. <laughs> uh, maybe this is uh, so uh, one bio of so uh, as a director. Uh, board member of the International Institute of Space Law. Uh, my major is international law, especially space law and cyber law and maritime law. Uh, in this conference, I was asked to introduce Japanese uh, cyber security uh, system uh, and policy. Uh, this structure was made uh, very recently because as you know well, uh, cyberspace is a very new domain. This information on Japanese soul experience might be useful for you all. And uh, this is the outline. Uh, so I will show you the Japanese soul structure. Uh, recently, cyber attack observed in Japan increases rapidly. Please look at the, this chart. Uh, in, 2000, in 2005, uh, the cyber attack uh, counted in Japan was uh, so uh, 5.8 billion, but now uh, in 2014, uh, so uh, it jumped up 25.6 billion a year. It's uh, just only the number which we can count. But so uh, maybe we cannot count all cyber attack in Japan. So you can imagine how many cyber attack every second, around 900. Every second, Japan receives some 900 cyber attack inside and so from outside. And uh, Japan will have uh, the Olympic Games and Paralympic Games in two, 2020, 2020 in Tokyo. Uh, we cannot imagine how many cyber attack will happen and so will be counted in Japan at the time. Because as you easily imagine, you easily remember uh, in London Olympic Games, so many cyber attacks. There were so many cyber attacks. One of the, the most severe cyber attack uh, might stop the uh, electric power supply in the opening ceremony in London. That's so uh, according to the big so uh, so big so effort by so uh, London City and so MI5 M6 and so some some other so uh, general uh, so uh, commission 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 of so uh, uh, information something like that so they could stop safely but I I'm not sure in 2020 in Tokyo so uh, the cyber attack to Japan. Uh, in the past, uh, main uh, cyber attack was the DDoS attack, distributed denial of service attack. We additionally face high level uh, ATP uh, attacks to the limited target these days. High tech companies, the Japanese diet, parliament, and so Japanese domestic offices abroad uh, are accessed by cyber attackers and information is leaking, uh, maybe continuously. Uh, cyber attack in late years um, 
uh, made attacks such as uh, so harassment, but now move to their aim to the a kind of industrial spy, industrial espionage. One real example to ATP attack was the industrial spy to the Japanese aerospace defense industry in 2011. Uh, yes, this is example. Uh, SJAC uh, was used for the a kind of hopping, stepping, so uh, uh, for uh, making such so a cyber attack. Uh, SJAC is uh, so the, the society of so Japanese aerospace companies. So many, most of the aerospace companies are joined as a so member, country, uh, member companies. Uh, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, Ishikawa Juma Heavy Industries, Kawasaki Heavy Industries. Uh, most of such uh, companies are not only making uh, so, uh, space assets, but also makes, make uh, so, uh, defense assets, like uh, war fighters or Aegis uh, destroyers or submarines or something like that, and tanks or something like that. Uh, they regularly receive uh, a mail for in uh, so showing the so the next meeting date and place, and so uh, one one day such member company received one mail. This is a real mail. Okay, next month for example next Monday we will have a sub meeting in SJAC headquarters conference room A and B or something like that. And after uh, just a few hours, they all received a new email which revise the time for next uh, so meeting. Okay, the last email, uh, in the last emails, so information is so not real. So we changed the, so the schedule. So this is the real, not real name, uh, real ma mail, but uh, so uh, this is a cyber attacker's mail. But the Japanese literature is very good, no errors. And so the name of sender is the same. And so address is the same. Everything is the same. The only difference between the last mail and so the, the next mail is the, so the attachment. So in this attachment, uh, so a document, it was included so, so a, a virus. Such virus, uh, so hard Japanese businessmen must open such document for showing the next schedule. So most of the PCs of such uh, member companies are contaminated by virus. And the back door opens and someone continuously uh, stole, stealing, st stole uh, so the information, defense-related information and so uh, outer space-related information. But still now, we can't identify who was the such cyber attack. So this is the sort of real so uh, example. Uh, the reason why I know this uh, real email attack uh, notes is uh, because so uh, I was also a target. I was the so the one observer of such a so, meeting. But I'm not so the hard Japanese businessman, just a kind of so uh, minimalist uh, scholar. So uh, I I don't I didn't open the such email. It's very, uh, sometimes such my so dull nature uh, so makes it good. <laughs> okay, so uh, under such circumstances, Japan now recognized the cyber attack to be a serious problem to the Japanese so national security. A national security strategy on December 17th, 2013 decided that the stability of cyberspace was important. This strategy shows that the cyberspace, ocean, and outer space are so-called global commons and says protecting cyberspace is a vital to secure national security. Uh, about the cyber security of Japan, basic act on cybersecurity was made in November 12th, 2014, the next year of so, national, cyber, uh, national strategic so, security strategy. Uh, this basic act was proposed by uh, some uh, political parties, including so, liberal democratic parties, 
and so Kometo parties and dem uh, democratic parties, etc. This is a bipartisan, so joint proposal, including so uh, opposition party and so uh, uh, political parties. Uh, this is a very important factor. Uh, the main point of this cyber security basic act are as follows. Uh, the maintaining of national cyber security should be done by national leadership. The, the cyber security is maintained while respecting the freedom of information. The national and local governments set policies on cyber security. All infrastructure providers and cyber related companies shall try to cooperate with national and local cyber security policies. This is the a kind of the best effort obligation. And so, uh, and the last is that the, the education research organizations also shall try for personal training to contribute to the cyber security. This is also the best effort obligation. And at present in Japan, uh, there are 230,000 uh, cyber security engineers working. But the, so the, uh, however, uh, most of them, uh, 190,000 engineers has to be trained additionally. It's a low level engineers. And so now Japanese government estimate uh, the total number of so necess necessary engineers for cyber security uh, uh, is uh, 252,000. So we have to uh, make more, uh, so over uh, over 20 million, uh, 20 uh, thousand, so engineers additionally, while also training. And the national security strategy and the basic act of cyber security, uh, cyber security strategy is a very uh, so limited strategy on cyber security, established policies for <coughs> stabilizing space, cyberspace. The latest cybersecurity strategy was made on September the 4th, uh, last year, 2015. Uh, the main points of this latest strategy are as follows. Uh, cyber threats have been a critical challenge to the national security, having posed significant damage on the people's daily lives and economic activities. Securing of cyberspace is necessary. Creating second, a secured, Internet of Things, IoT, uh, is, is essential for future. Uh, promoting the information share uh, gathering on vulnerability and uh, monitoring cyber attack. Enhancing measures to advance cyber crime response and investigative capabilities using the public-private section cooperation. Enhancing, also, enhancing effective and prompt public-private information sharing to pre protect uh, critical information infrastructure, Japan called it CII, uh, such as information communication, electricity, finance, etc. Protecting governmental bodies by advancing defense capabilities. Enhancing response capabilities of relevant governmental bodies, such as law enfo enforcement agency, police agencies, as well as the Japan Self-Defense Force, JSDF. Uh, contributing actively to the development of international rules and norms regarding cyberspace as the United Nations and in other international fora. Promoting the, the confidence building internationally and the cooperation for cybersecurity capa capacity building of other countries. Under the such uh, cybersecurity strategy, uh, Japanese government Establish one uh, organization which named uh, NISC, N I S C. This is a national center for incident readiness and strategy on cybersecurity. This is a little bit so a uh, different abbreviation, uh, but so the NISC was already made. Uh, so, National uh, Information Security Center. It's very simple. But uh, so they don't change, they didn't want to change the, so the such uh, NISC. So they have to, for, uh, they have to so um, uh, so combine so many words into one. 
And so uh, such NISC main roles are as follows. Uh, drafting cyber strategy and relevant plans, promoting international corporations. For example, between Japan and India, uh, 2012, November, uh, the Japan and India cyber discussion war was held. This is the first meeting of Japan-India cyber dialogue. And the second dialogue will be held in the early of this year. And so uh, operating GSOC, Governmental Security Operation Coordination Team, uh, coordinating the cooperation for CII, uh, so critical infrastructure, uh, critical information infrastructure protection through 18 sector. Uh, 18 sector uh, is uh, so uh, just like that. So uh, telecommunications, cable TV broadcasting, banking company, securities company, etc. Including uh, so the uh, governmental administrative services. So all such 18 so groups are uh, so making a so effort for countering cyber attack and so make uh, inf information sharing between each other. And so uh, promoting the investigation and analysis of cyber attacks. NISC now sets such multi layer scheme and international corporations, uh, domestic uh, so corporation. This includes uh, so private, uh, public private corporation, inter agency corporation, and inter industry corporation for securing the whole nation level cyberspace. And this is a so very small chart for showing uh, so a uh, military of defense, Japan self defense force cyber security structure. Uh, Japan, uh, Ministry of Defense of, and Japan self defense forces pay some attention to the stability of the cyberspace. In the self defense forces, cyber defense unit was established on March 26, 2014, two years ago. This joint unit for cyber defense is combined with three units of, uh, so three services of so Japan Self Defense Force, a ground defense, self defense force, and some maritime self defense force, air, and air self defense force. As you know well, Japan has no army and so navy and the air force. Uh, it's uh, so prohibited by so our constitution. It's a very strong. At uh, least it looks like so strange. So now we name the naming. Naming is the only difference. Uh, so ground self defense force is the army, <laughs> maritime self defense force is the navy, and so uh, air self defense force is uh, so air force. Uh, of course, so the so the the mark is almost uh, similar as yours, yours. And so the, however, uh, this joint uh, cyber defense unit only defend the MOD network system. <laughs> Not the whole cyber network in Japan. So you can see such one circle, a red circle. This is a DII, Defense Information Infrastructure. This was established. This is established and operated by a Ministry of Defense and so Self Defense Force, Army, Navy, and Air Force. So only defending this small circle is uh, so the obligation of so such Japanese uh, military joint. Uh, cyber unit, cyber defense unit. Uh, as you know well, in real world, so self defense, for self defense forces defend the whole nation territory, land, sea, and air. So this is a very unique point for Japan. So Japanese military sector has a very limited role for defending cyberspace in Japan. And so this is the last part in, for international cooperation. Japan actively goes uh, so uh, proceed uh, so the, in the international cooperation in order to stabilize the cyberspace. At first, for responding to cyber crime, Japan joined the Convention on Cybercrime, uh, which was uh, drafted mainly by the Council of Europe. From the drafting uh, phase. So Japan and the U.S. and some countries joined as, obser as observers' status, and so uh, uh, put a signature on the same day, and so uh, ratified a little bit later. 
so uh, the notification was made in 2012. So such convention, uh, in such conventions, 47 countries, including European countries, USA, Canada, and Japan. And so in Asia, in Asian countries, so Japan, it is only Japan and Sri Lanka that joins so this uh, the commission of the cybercrime. Not yet India, not yet China, not yet Pakistan, and maybe in the near future, I hope. And so uh, between Japan and so USA, Japan pushes forward cooperation about the cyber security in the guideline for Japan US defense cooperation concluded in April 2015, last year, the bilateral cooperation about the cyber security was specified as follows. To help and ensure the safe and stable use of the cyberspace, the two governments, mm -hmm. Japanese government and so US government, uh, government, will share information on threat and vulnerability in cyberspace in a timely and routine manner as appropriate. In addition, other cooperation channels, including Japan-U.S. Cyber Dialogue and Japan-U.S. Cyber Defense Policy Working Group (Working Group WG) uh, are made. Our so uh, Japan-U.S. Uh, bilateral cooperation is deepening now. Furthermore, international collaboration is carried out other than Japan-U.S. bilateral cooperation. Uh, I will show you some of them. First. Uh, FIRST, the Forum of Incident Response and Security Team. Uh, such uh, such uh, so uh, group was established in two, 1990 for the purpose of so a cyber security incident information sharing between each country's CSAT. CSAT is, as you know well, Computer Security Incident Response Team. The information sharing about the protection of so critical inf information infrastructure is made by the international forum called Meridian <laughs> Conference. Japan pushes also forward cooperation with Asian countries for constructing much safer cyberspace. For instance, through Japan ASEAN Cybersecurity Policy Meeting. Maybe it's an annual base uh, meeting between so Japan and so ASEAN member countries. So uh, I will conclude my presentation. Japan is now promoting cybersecurity as an, one of the IT advanced countries. But I'm not sure Japan is a so major power or a so middle power. Because so uh, US and so China and some countries, some so uh, IT advanced countries wants to use such te technologies for pushing outward. Japan is maybe a, so, uh, in my personal understanding, it's a kind of passive, uh, so big user mm -hmm. of so internet, in, uh, so internet and so uh, cyberspace. But anyway, as one of the IT advanced countries, uh, so Japan is promoting cybersecurity. Japanese government set national security strategy in the top level, and national cyber security strategy is also limited sectors level, and the basic act of cyber security and security-related organizations like NIC, NISC. Cyber security, however, uh, as some of my colleagues already pointed out, uh, cannot be achieved by only one nation's effort because much cyber crimes and attacks are crossing easily, freely, uh, national borders. It's a kind of very new uh, type of so, uh, threats and risks for our uh, so, uh, entire world as well as our national security. So. Uh, bilateral, multilateral, regional, and global cooperation is essential and necessary for more secured cyberspace, not only for Japan, but also for every world, our colleagues. Thank you very much for your patience.